Hey Deckers, I've got some great news if you want to play your PS5 on your Steam Deck, even with swipe and touch. Yes, we have managed to get this running thanks to Shiaki for Deck, and we'll run you through a full guide on how to set this up, including the extra controller options to get this working all on your Steam Deck right now. So first of all, head over to Steam Deck desktop mode and search the Discover Store for Shiaki for Deck as you see it spelt on your screen here, and you should see the red icon download and install this. So get that installed, and then you want to open it up, and you'll likely see your PlayStation if you've already set up Shaki previously. If not, then you need to head over to your PlayStation, scroll down to System in Settings, Remote Play, and make sure that Enable Remote Play is enabled. Now don't hit the link device until you're ready for the next step. You can take a copy of the code at this point if you want. It does last up to five minutes, but it's easier just to get a new code when you get to the next step. So head back to your Steam Deck and open up Shiaki 4 Deck and you should now see your PlayStation 5 in the list. If you double click on this, it's going to ask you to sign in. This will need to be the PlayStation account that you're currently signed into and enabled remote play on. And then you can try heading over to psn.flipscreen.games and entering your PSN account ID. This should give you an encoded PlayStation ID, which you can see here, encoded ID for Shiaki at the bottom here. However, for some reason, I tried this a few times and it just did not work for me. Whenever I put the pin in and the A64 PSN account ID from that site, it just gave me an error. Now the error every single time seemed to be invalid PSN ID. I'm not entirely sure why this did not work for me, but I know that it's worked for others, especially in the US. So if that works for you, great, then you can move on to the next step. If it doesn't work for you, then it's gonna be a little bit more involved, unfortunately. On the Shaki Field Deck site, and I'll also write a guide for this in a little bit more detail on our website, which I'll link in the description below. You'll need to go via the older method, which I showed in the Shiaki setup video, where you'll need to paste this command into your console, copy the URL that it gives you into your browser, log in with your PSN ID, and then copy the URL back out. So once you've logged in with that PSN ID, it will just say redirect. You then need to copy that URL out and back into your console window, which is where you had it before. And then once you hit enter after pasting that in, it should give you a bunch of code like this. Now, it wasn't very obvious for me, but it is actually right down the bottom. In the bottom left corner is your account ID. So make sure you copy that out with no spaces at the end. So make sure you get all of the characters with no extra space and then put in your pin, and this one worked for me, whereas the other version didn't. So hopefully one of these will get you logged in, and I know that some people may have reservations about logging in on separate sites. That isn't a separate site, it is the PlayStation Secure login, hence you saw the two-factor authentication for me, and you are just using the response token that comes back to get your account ID. So for all intents and purposes, we know that that is as safe as can be, but I know that some people might have a hang up still on that. Now by installing Shaki for DAC, it should auto add it to Steam for you, but in case it hasn't, or you just want to make sure, you can just search for Shaki for DAC on your Steam Deck from the Steam Start menu, right click the icon and say add to Steam, and then this should add it into your Steam library for you. Now, before you switch back to game mode, make sure that you go and check that this is in your library, otherwise it'll be frustrating for you to switch back here. You can see that it's there for me. If it's not there, then you can add it manually from Steam as well, just to make sure, as sometimes it doesn't work from the right context menu for some reason. Now you can head back over to game mode on your Steam Deck. Now, if you've got the Decky Loader Steam Grid DB plugin set, you can now right click on your icon and say, change artwork. This won't find anything by default, so you'll have to change Shiaki for DAC to just Shiaki for it to find all the other icons, or you can change it to PS Space Remote Play, and that should also bring up some of the artwork. But if you do just change it to Shiaki and select the remote client, you will get a whole bunch of artwork that you can just go and set your capture, wide capture and hero to. 
to make it a little bit neater on your Steam Deck. If you don't have Decky Loader in Steam Grid DB, I'll link the guide to that in the description below. It's great enhancements for your Steam Deck. And you should be able to just open up Shecky 4 Deck on game mode and double click on your PlayStation and you should now get connected through. Now if I open Ghost of Tsushima, this I know has both the swipe and touch commands for various actions. You'll notice out of the box, this won't be active. With the default controller mapping, this will not have the touch and swipe commands and you'll be a bit stumped about how you trigger those. However, everything else will function just fine. So what you need to do is come into the Steam controller settings by pressing the Steam menu and then under the menu that pops up, go into controller settings and then controller settings again. Go to the current layout and change this to community layouts. And there's a few in here that do say about Shacky Deck and bits and pieces, but one that I actually found that fully worked was one called was Shacky 4 Deck plus PlayStation Touchpad by Cesaro. Make sure you give this a thumbs up if you download this as well. If you apply this layout, you'll notice that the mouse region on the right is T key and also left mouse click on touch and the left pad is now the PlayStation remote. So now if you swipe right, up, down or left, you'll get all of the same actions you would on the PlayStation touchpad. And if you click the right touchpad, it's the same as the PlayStation touchpad as well. So that's advanced hearing for Ghost of Toshima and the swipe commands are various things, including a flute. As I said, if you press the left touchpad, you'll now have access to the PlayStation button as well. There you have it. There's your full remote play setup with full controller actions for remote playing your PlayStation 5 on Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.